super critical of Ghost. Coming into when he took over for God King on RNG, I was hyper critical because prior to that, I truthfully didn't see anything that was super impressive from him, but I, I think after that season he took over, he felt very comfortable oh, and they might be dog. able to get a kill here on the Viper. They'll take out Zhao Yu, DY drawing first blood. So, you know, you can see the combinations here. And I think Ghost, he's now he's definitely shown up and being quite impressive the last few days that we've been uh, watching Ehom so far. Oh, good dive on the top lane. Zhao Yu in a lot of trouble. Snowball pulling in the Viper, so that'll hit on DY, but the right click's coming in from Ghost. They're gonna look, they gotta focus somebody out, and I think it's gonna be Zhao Yu first, but they'll lose DY, and now Salad is gonna 1v1 against Ghost, and I think Ghost under the tower should be fine, but that is a trade where Ghost gets a kill on the offlaner, and he's not too... Uh, he wanted to have something in the lane that could like potentially threaten a kill on Timbersaw since Javelin is magical damage, but it just doesn't work. I've Ooh, seen mid lane. Oh, mid lane. Yeah, they've got the snowball coming in. Paparazzi in some trouble. Good shards placed by Sal. They've also got the glimpse back. So Paparazzi with three heroes around him gets the avalanche off and gets the kill on tonight before he goes down to Salad. PYW will try to take out LWW in return. A leap over to the kinetic field, and there's the last hit. So he gets himself a return kill. It's a two for one in the favor of Extreme Gaming, and I'm just shocked that the Tiny was able to kill off the Primal Beast right before that. Yeah, he was holding onto that Avalanche for a very long time, and man, Zhao Yu on a top lane really struggling. 18 CS. Mid lane going in a favor of Tiny by quite a lot. He's sitting at the... Uh, 28 and 12. Primal Beast sitting at only 18 and 5. Knight and coming in. Top lane. There's the charge in, and they've got the kill on the Ghost. They'll take out the Drow. They'll look over at DY. The trample from Knight ends, and well, one more right click from Salad. And he's got himself a double kill moving and making a lot happen with this Tusk already. So you could see that, that things for playing for IGV back in the day, Team Max. Um, had, had played on a couple of clubs like Team Ever that just really weren't in the mix when it comes to uh, Div 1 China. So you think about it, and he's been really proving himself as he gets in the pulverize onto the tiny. LWW falls to DY. They'll trade Paparazzi, which is an all right trade for them as DY looks to Good dive shards. away the shards. Getting some damage out, and DY one shot from dead. He might kill himself for the neutrals if he nah, he's got, fine. gets the he opportunity. He's fine. He's a healing salve. He's going to be okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Salad, yeah. Snowball on cooldown. So he's able to make the escape. Just salves himself, doesn't even sacrifice oh, the Oh, great kills. arrow by PYW. Yeah, landing it on tonight. PYW getting a kill there onto the Primal Beast. It's a solo kill, and he's going to be level 6 before... Like, they just profits strength gain, agility, like stats gain overall is pretty damn good. One of the better heroes overall, and his talents are insanely good. Level 15, level 20 talent, uh, the 20 mostly. Oh. Ghost mid. There's the roll in, and the walrus punch with the static storm committed. Uh, that's an easy kill on Ghost. They've got some rotations. Paparazzi comes through, but an Icarus dive into the pulverize, and now We'll go to the Supernova. Zhao Yu trying to right-click this. Oh, just goes off in the nick of time. And they're going to get that kill on Zhao Yu as well as Salad. So that is uh, not what they were expecting. The commit to the Supernova not going to be enough. And well, with that, Paparazzi is going to be able to afford a... Even though Timbersaw usually loves to take these fights, he's still a friend. He has only Cloak, so not that much of a... Tanking is coming out from him. One good glimpse into Static Storm is going to be more than enough. Huh? Also, Zhao Yu. Ooh. Blink, Avalanche, toss. Quick kill on a salad. LWW going to be next. Quick one two punch there from Extreme Gaming. Climb high ground, pay the price. I wanted to say that Zhao Yu does not have a point in Nether Toxin, and he's playing maybe a casual plate mail that he's going to turn into Shivas and Ehom. They're going to smoke. Yeah, three-man smoke, LWW with Salad and Knight, so they certainly have the catch on this one. PYW on the high ground with Paparazzi, the Blink and the Snowball, but the Blink Avalanche comes out with the Walrus Punch, the arrow lands under the Disruptor, they get the kill on the LWW, but they end up losing Ghost. So a one-for-one one so far, JT making the rotation, they've got the Sunray, they're under the Shroud of the Moonlight Shadow, they're looking to maybe find a jump, but these heroes are just on the edge. And this OBS, I believe, caught Paparazzi a moment ago, but 
You can only exactly see him at the moment. And now Paparazzi's gonna go in with the Avalanche. They do have a save though. Arrow comes in, they won't be able to use it. Oh, Sour a little bit late. Supernova's used, so they'll start re to retreat on this one. They'll look for the TP out, but Salad hit with the Yule. So they'll be staying close. Timber Chain over. JT with the Chakram on top of this Tusk as he'll snowball to the back lines. Looking over at the Marana, the Walrus Punch is used, but the damage isn't there. And it's kind of just almost tricking Knight to come back in. He should just leave this fight. It's a little bit close. They won't jump on him, but the indecisiveness is a little bit worrying. It's a lot tougher to just slot in where right now we're seeing God King doing a much better job it's in terms of slotting. It's a typical carry mentality where you are just playing Ooh, on I'm your own. In. Now he's gonna join. Yeah, they're gonna go through. They've got Ghost over to the side, maybe to get this damage out. Knight though with the BKB looking for the Pulverize. God King getting the kill on a Paparazzi off and over to the side. They get the Pulverize out. It's on a JT. Maybe not doing a lot of damage, but the Sunray on to Zhao Yu. He cannot get out. JT blows him up. And they'll take out the Viper. They also got a kill on a Salad. They'll look over maybe for more. God King trying to get out of this one. The TP, the gun. They're starting to get out with the Onslaught. Toss up into the air. It's onto the Viper. Supernova used. A lot used here for Extreme Gaming. A couple of BKVs come out from Ehome. But do they have the opportunity to go for this? As Salad's over to the side with the Walrus Punch as well. As now the Shards. Ooh, PYW locked in, but they've got the leap. He gets glimpsed back. And that's going to be a kill here for the side of Ehome. They look over as the Pulverize lands onto JT. Knight getting another one and two kills there for the side of Eho. Extreme Gaming using two BKBs and an egg. So they're like, mm -hmm. sometimes he threw in an Echo Saber, which he disassembled. Oh boy, Salad. Looked like maybe they want to make the jump here from Extreme after that Snowball Shard combo. Oh, smoke right next to Extreme Gaming. They're going to go in. Hex. They've got themselves a Hex. It's going to be on a Salad. They silence him up. They've got the Sunray right on top of him. Salad ends up dropping. The uproar is going to be activated. They've already taken out Zhao Yu. So PYW with the second kill. This is another fight without God King in the mix. And maybe understanding that the fights are already lost. He TPs down. He Re had a rough one. Yeah. I mean, considering Salad has nine deaths, I'm shocked that LWW is sitting. He, he is in the pause six right now. Moonlight Shadow jump in. JT with the BKB. They're going to go in with the Supernova. Look at the damage from the volley. Spiking it down and putting it all over Ehome. Salad, God King, Knight, all gone in the blink of an eye. And he doesn't have a buyback. This is game. They can go in, but uh, sometimes it can be tricky. Right now, God King standing at uh, 200 gold. Yeah, that, that seems about right for God King. Investing all out. You know, whether or not that is a save or not for him is a little bit rough as LWW gets taken out by JT. They're going to go for more. The tree volley right on top of Zhao Yu. They've got buyback on both these heroes. They'll look for Sal to toss up into the air and they clean him up. Paparazzi just outputting so much damage. They buyback on both supports. And, and Zhao Yu, he's got buyback. They probably want to go for it. Roche is up, but they're just going to go in. They've got the Hex. God King in trouble. Snowball's going to bring God King right into the mix. They go for the Supernova. They'll pop the egg. They'll look for the right clicks. God King with a Satanic. They get the kill on a PYW. They take it out full supports. And down goes JT. Paparazzi. God King with a triple kill. But there's the tree volley. Paparazzi ultra kill for God King. And they want to go for Ghost. They've got the Snowball. They're trying to keep up. And the arrow comes in. That's going to miss Salad. But the right click damage coming in from Ghost as well as PYW being there. They get the kill on a Salad. They'll take up the Tusk and they'll the look arrow. for more. Onslaught comes in. But they've got the Gleep here from God King. The right click damage from the high ground. Can he get there? to help out. They'll have Knight moving. Seconds without God King Megas. means that that's, yeah, they're playing against Mega Creeps. They're smoked up like they want to make a move here, but I feel like making a move without God King is uh, asking to just get swept. And they're going to go in with Pulverize with BKBs. They've got themselves the Walrus Punch. The damage coming out of the Drow. you got to remember, though, there's an Aegis. Tree Volley comes through. He's JT gets alive. the kill on the Salad. And they don't even get the first life out of the hands of this Drow. But under the Static Storm, that will do it. Toss up into the air. Another one for good measure. And they get Knight. He doesn't have buyback, but they're going to have God King back, and they've got to wonder if he's got the damage to hold on to this. It's not Mega Creeps just yet, but now you're fighting 3v5. No Aegis this time, but the positioning. How do you position yourself? You don't. JT goes in. He brings the fight to them. He's going to blink in. He's got the Hex. He has the damage. I get the kill on LWW as well as Zhao Yu and God King. Everybody gone here for the side of Ehome, and GG will be called as Extreme Gaming take game number one over Ehome. Extreme gaming, very clean execution when it comes down to dodging fights. This is a game where Ehome had two Aegises and was not able to capitalize on any of that. Extreme gaming, dodging fights, going for the right targets, not allowing 
God King to join most of the time because he was more playing like reactive to what he, his team is doing and the yeah. understanding where the threat is coming from, killing both of the supports immediately. Sometimes this happens because we talked about Viper being more of a utility in this game rather than being able to scale. Mm -hmm. And then if you take out one of these heroes, uh, Primal Beast or Quit, so Disruptor, first blood material for sure. Yeah, so they're gonna need to be careful. Speaking of potential first blood material, Curse Crown as well as the Bramble Maze, the Curse Crown pops, the battery assault still going off, but eventually JT, he should be able to use that shockwave to pull him close and get a kill, and that's exactly what he does. JT drawing the first blood on LWW, so extreme starting where they left off, and that's with a kill up in the top lane. EY, he's inside the trees. He does not feel comfortable playing on the <laughs> like more northern part of the map, like closer to the creeps. God King under the tower now. Battery Assault stops JT, and that's a problem. He's running away. These right clicks coming in from God King. Shockwave pulling him close. Maybe to get some help here from PYW, but he doesn't quite have the damage to get a kill there, and they'll end up taking out JT. DY, he's trying, but he can't survive over bottom, and Salad falls to Ghost afterwards. Sometimes trying is not enough. Ghost getting a return kill. That's pretty big. Getting these side lanes, or if they want to just use it and go mid. And uh, that question gets answered immediately. Use it, go mid. So they use the exorcism. They've got PYW nearby, but two heroes sit for the home close. Curse ground, the lasso, the battery assault, the snowball. Paparazzi's exorcism doesn't do anything because he's dead immediately after. Good shards from Salad. God King's God also King here. TPs. All right. In the previous game, he was uh, very cautious with the TPs, playing Nature's Prophet, but they bring numbers, four members of e -Home. It is, It's a little bit of a tough proposition to go for, but they are bringing up another one, it seems like, in L and DY. So Knight spots DY, Flame Break, and Knight doing some damage, but now in a little bit of a precarious Ghost position. Here. They've got Ghost coming over. The Exorcism will be committed. They get the kill tonight. Knight. They'll look over at Salad. The Assassinate will take the life of DY, and it ends up being a one for one. I love when Faces Voids decide to join a fight uh, 10 minutes into the Or maybe the, the, just the vicinity of how close he was was a bit of an issue. Radiant. So Paparazzi again, though, hook shot mid. Snowball to follow it up in the Assassinate, but Paparazzi taking literally zero damage. Terrorize comes in, some right clicks from God King. Static Storm committed, time walk over with the Chronosphere committed onto the Batrider. God King over to the side, though, they not still doing have damage RP. on the Ghost either. So JT starting to run, Skewer onto the Sardar. They'll commit the RP. It's only on a one, but it's well worth it when you kill off Zhao Yu. It's a three for one trade in the favor of Extreme Gaming, and they're still Another getting the kill here on the available. Salad. A bit low on mana, no mana for it. Now he finally. Oh, but once the Blink Dagger is complete, he's going to be. Oh, oh hook shot. okay. Hook shot into the Skewer. So he went with him for a ride. Glimpse. Oh, JT. Max survives thanks to the help of DY and that mechanism. Now they look over at LWW. He's on the run. Ooh, Salad also going in with the Snowball. RP committed to this one. They must have just come off cooldown. Now they hit the Terrorize, so JT by the skin of his teeth surviving time and time again as Paparazzi secures himself a double kill and puts himself on a killing spree. The power of Mech and also Extreme Gaming. Not... Uh... He's been pedestooled here pretty much the entire series. Been farming. Ancients. They stacked it for him. Xiao Yu. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The strike. DY, Static Storm, BKB committed, hook shot on the back lines. JT caught in the cogs. Skewer. And JT, I think he was hoping to get an RP off in that situation. The BKB is going to wear out in just a second. So they're going to stick with this Zhao Yu Sardar and get a kill there. But Salad ends up getting PYW after LWW drops to him and ends up being a two for two. Didn't exactly look like it was going to be that way if Chrono. Ready to go, God King bottom. If QIW could start this, oh, Terrorize off the mark, well off the mark. They've got a Hurricane Pike as well as some Shrapnel down. The Curse Crown stuns up God King. Now the Bedlam soul target, but He's the damage stuck. being done by God King isn't gonna be enough to get PYW four heroes here for extreme, and down he goes. On the other side, they're looking for Ghost. Blink, Snowball, Time Walk, now not he was far about away. Chrono. Looks to the Chrono, but the hook shot comes out. The lasso's there. Do they have a save for him? No, they don't. Ghost dies too. And now, is there any retort for the side of Extreme Gaming? It's not looking likely. Maybe they get a glimpse on LWW to pull him back. But the hero's here for E. They got the glimpse. 
Another kinetic field, so now BKB. Oh, and then the lasso again, he wanted the chrono. This could be a problem here for Ghost. Ghost bashed up, and there's the walrus punch. Hook shot in, but the time walk out. Ghost throws a chrono in defense, but goes back Sniper in. He's very careful. God in. King with a two tap to get the kill on the Ghost. They'll look over to get the kill on the Sardom with the Exorcism. Paparazzi's popped the BKB. He's running forward, but now hit with the Cog. They've got the score back. They look over at night, but JT still unable to get the RP off just yet. God King from a distance just outputting the damage. They take out Paparazzi. Now they'll look over at JT. Triple kill for God King. Make it an Ultra. Oh, yeah, they Take him down. They look for God we King. Ultra more hits. Rampage. That's a rampage. That's a rampage for God King. Oh, man. A huge mistake there from Faceless Void. <laughs> Ghost. Thinking about using the Chronosphere on back. Snowball the game. I would not have expected this game to end, first of all, with this result, with the game state they were in, but also with the speed that it did. It's like Extreme Gaming, from this point, they closed the game in 10 minutes. I was going to say, this what? This is not common. <laughs> 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 like, how, how does a lineup like Ehome get a rampage, but then also be in such a vulnerable position that, you know, like you said, one good RP, one good team fight can just swing it all the way in favor of Extreme? Or Sheep, is it a testament to Extreme and them sort of biding their time and really trying to play that longer game? Well, past the point of that rampage, it is getting towards the late game, and their lineup is very geared towards that. You have so many tools, like lockdown, stun, team fight, that allow you to just keep taking fights, right? Uh, there's not a lot of AoE control at all on eHome, so in these larger skirmishes, like you, you saw that that fight with the rampage, right? The faceless void had to have every single spell used on him, and even then, he wasn't actually chain stunned to death. He only died because he re-engaged and then kind of got peeped down. So they were in a pretty good position. They were farming well. Um, I think they drew out the game to a, a happy point for them. And, and honestly, the lanes didn't go as badly as I thought it would for them anyway. Yeah, the, the, that was actually the biggest positive for Extreme here, I think, is that they were drafted into a position where the lane stage could have...